quick little smoke break. Hey my baby dolls, welcome back to another video. Today I decided to do a sit down girl chat and a little smoking session, okay? I'm just going to talk from wherever my mind is, okay? It is about everywhere. I'm not going to lie to you. I figured some of you may relate to how everything is right now, how some of us probably been feeling going into different seasons. And I'm not talking about like getting the cold or getting the flu. But I'm going to prep my uh, lips with this NYX Fat Oil. And this is this one is in the shade Follow Back. Well, this is a little dry, so we need to prep our lips, okay? I was thinking about doing like a glam, a of course a glam. See my mind? Look me y'all. Of course I'm gonna do a glam. I was thinking about doing a fall look because we are officially in fall. So why the fuck not? I'm not gonna lie, today felt very dragged and like I had to push myself to figure out exactly what type of content I wanted to post for today because these days been like kind of hard for me as far as content and I've been like in this super weird weird place and I figured like why I just why I just don't talk about it you know what I mean and I don't mean to get on camera and always sound sad I'm sorry if I sound sad all the time I don't be trying to sound sad like I just be being very like honest oh shit sorry spider don't eat that where you are mentally does play a part in your everyday life, you know, with your work, with family, with friends. But everybody pretty much goes about it differently. I'm about to light this up. If y'all got, got you a little joint ready, go ahead and spark up and or make some wine or whatever, you know, you like to relax yourself. Look, a lighter is a lighter. Don't ask me why I'm using this. Child, I can't find my actual lighter, so... I should have showed y'all the process of me. I didn't really roll up. Roll up. I'm using the raw cones, so I basically stuffed my little joint. So <laughs> yeah, y'all. I don't be having time to like roll up. I be feeling like once I saw these cones that you can just buy a cones where you can just stuff it. I was like, okay, yeah, this is me right here. I ain't got time for all that other shit. <laughs> I am so tired of this damn dog barking, y'all. I almost decided to do a voiceover because. This dog been barking for like the past two hours. I ain't gonna lie to you. So if y'all hear a dog, y'all may hear it and y'all might not. But I do. So if I hear it, y'all, I'm pretty sure the camera is taking up every bit of this dog barking. So lately, y'all, I've been like, ooh, that made me feel a little better, okay? Smoking for me, like, helps me, it helps with my anxiety and, like, my overthinking because I'm a natural overthinker and I've just accepted that. And I just found ways to help with my overthinking and help with, like, my mind because my mind runs so freaking much and it does affect me. It affects me with a lot of different things, you know, and... I've noticed that smoking kind of helps me with that. It kind of calms me down and like stops me from overthinking and overanalyzing and over, 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 just overdoing shit, okay? <laughs> but pause, I forgot to tell y'all what I'm using on my eyebrows. I'm using the Ruby Kisses Go Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And I got this from my local beauty supply store. Um, I think I've talked about this eyebrow pencil before on my channel. But this is the Ruby Kisses. And it's actually really, really good, y'all. Like, I really recommend y'all to use Ruby Kisses pencils but these this has been like my go-to um pencil I've been using lately y'all know like whatever works I'm gonna use I don't care if it's cheap I don't care if it's a dollar <laughs> I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it work I forgot to prep my skin before doing my brows. I'm so sorry, y'all. Before we continue with our brows, I'm going to stop with that first and 
use my primer. Lately, I've been using this Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. They sent me a PR box, okay? Okay? Period. They sent me a box full of their goodies. I knew this was going to be good because I love the Milk Hydro um, primer. So, I actually mixed these both together. It's probably crazy that I do that because this is mag magnifying and this has like a a dewy like after glow but they work they go hand in hand for me because I'm combination skin like sometimes I'm a little oily sometimes I'm a little matte and dry in certain places so like I'm like not dry not oily so like I'm in I'm, I'm in the middle okay this one first and I'm so happy that they sent me so many goodies because now I have an extra bottle of this grip primer. And y'all, this has been lasting me a very long time. This is the first one I ever bought and I still have a lot. Do y'all see how much I have left? Crazy. But lately I've been feeling like... Do you know how like you have an intuition in like your gut? Like sometimes it's just really, really important to listen to your gut because every time it be right lately i've been feeling like i need to take it very easy on myself and i like because of my overthinking i just be doing too much my mind just winds up too fast too too much which can cause me to be tired like literally tired and i can um drain my own self and that's what i'm realizing Cause I'm working up so many damn, damn thoughts in my brain and I just need to stay calm as possible. Okay, I probably use too much of this cause I only need a little bit of this and I'm trying to save this little bottle that they gave me. Some stuff was like travel size and stuff, some stuff was regular size. So I'm, they should send me the big one like this cause baby, I actually really love this. And I'm not, I'm not here for all primers, but baby, that's good. And then on top of this, I'm going to use the Hydro Grip. You only need a little bit of this stuff. That's probably why it's been lasting me so long. I really like to put this grip around my brows. That's why I was like, oh shit, I forgot to use my primer. Because I like to use this around my brows because it definitely holds my brows in place. So when you're using the grip primer, do not forget to put it around your eyebrow area. It holds it. Get back to the brows. Oh, did I tell y'all the shade I, I'm in this? I'm dark brown, if I didn't say that. For my concealer, I'm going to use the LA Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Tan. Like I always tell y'all, y'all know me. I'm a girly that always don't care what type of makeup it is as long as it's good product. As long as the product treats me well. I'm going to use it. I don't care how cheap it is, okay? And I don't know if y'all know, but these concealers are at Target now. And they run for like $4. But, baby, when I first... And every time I see that, it kind of like makes me cringe. It cringes me the fuck out. Because, baby, these were only a dollar when they first came out. And I started using these in high school. <laughs> so, it's just interesting how it's like damn near almost $5. Like, stop playing with me. And the beauty supply went up on them too. Because y'all know that's where it was originated from in the beauty supply store. So, like... Don't play with me, LA, LA Pro. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't switch up. Stay the same. Somebody gotta have their, their dog sitting outside. Hopefully, the camera was not blurry this whole time I was talking because I just saw that I was not focused. I hate that. Um, I don't know who dog outside, but they, I, I'm about to go on my balcony and like yell at this point, y'all. And say something because, baby, every time I talk, I hear the dog bark. And that shit is annoying. I, a lot of people work from home. No one wants to hear that. Me. I don't want to hear that. That's how I know I'm, I'm happy because... <laughs> I'm starting to think about foods now, y'all. That's the only thing. Like, I be having the munchies, chat. I can eat anything. When you got the munchies, baby, everything be so good. Because I'm thinking about cereal right now. Like, I want some cereal. 
So, um, I took out a couple palettes. I took out three. So, I have the Milani Gilded Terra. Okay, and this is one of my favorites. I've been sticking beside her for a long time. <laughs> this is what the colors look like. It reminds me, every time I open this palette, it reminds me of the holiday. It gives me, like, this season right now, like... Christmas, fall, Thanksgiving, like it gives me a lot of that in this palette. And then I have the ColourPop palette called Peach Out. I have this one here. And this one is pretty good too. I don't really take this palette out too much. As y'all can see, it's still in its box. Gal Jaclyn Hill, Dark Magic. And this one gives me Christmas. Because I think I actually bought this around Christmas time. So it definitely gives me Christmas, holiday season type of vibe and energy with this palette silver which gives me that holiday christmas vibe just trying to figure out what i want to use first as our transition shade i'm going to use the rest of this concealer all over the lid before we continue don't y'all hate when, like when you just did your brows your eyebrows start itching Cause it's just like for what? Why are you itching right now? So for our transition, we're going to use we're gonna use Road to Nowhere, and this is like a reddish brown. Okay, we're gonna use this shade right here. So we're gonna use that in our transition. And as I always tell y'all, like I like to buff it in first, so. I like to um, just do tapping motions because this one helps with um, no creasing. It helps with just having a nice blend, seamless blend. So lately, y'all, I've been in like a weird space. Like it's been like a roller coaster where it be like, I feel it and then I don't and then I feel it again and then I don't. I don't know if like anybody else is dealing with like um people right now are calling it seasonal depression. I'm not depressed but a lot of people around this time deal with different things mentally. I don't know what it is about around this time um but it's kind of like a I can only well for me it kind of feels like I hate to feel in a place where I'm like confused like I don't know where to start or begin <laughs> like I just feel so and I just feel like I'm just in a weird ass space a weird space and like it doesn't feel right and it doesn't feel like I understand what I'm feeling and I hate to not understand what I'm feeling but I'm I'm just in a weird space and um this color is really really pretty and it's blending so good. I think that's why I like this palette because the colors blend really good and they're super pigment. Milani lip glosses are good too. Like I just like Milani and their um, setting sprays are really good too as well. Okay, so now that we have our um, transition going, now we can get into the next shade. And this time I'm going to take this one um, from the ColourPop palette. And we're going to go in with Go Better. So Go Better is like a pretty chocolate brown. And I'm going to go into the crease. So make sure that you don't lose that transition shade, okay? Hey, Miss Walker, thank you for wanting the verse from me. Apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to make the distractions up off you. So with this shade here, it's kind of pigment, almost uh, the same shade as the transition shade. So um, right now I'm just building my tone so everything can just mesh well. But this is damn near almost the same shade as the transition. So if you guys don't see it like really being visible, that's why. But I can see it in the mirror. I don't know if the camera is taking up this, this shade, this color. It's definitely just a tad bit darker and it's giving it some depth to it. This shade here from the Jaclyn Hill palette and this one is in the shade <clears throat> Mojo. So this is a very dark, dark brown. Like, 
real dark brown. So I only take a little bit of that because that shade almost looks like it's black, but it's not. Um, but it's really deep. So I just take a little bit of that in the crease. Time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations. I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing. The way that you tell your kids, the biz, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting. Definitely giving vampy. Like a vampy eye look. It's still fall, but like, you know, this spooky season that we in is definitely giving that a little bit so far. I don't be knowing exactly what I want to do when I start making tutorials y'all half the time anymore. Like I used to be like, before I sit, I just know exactly what the eye look is going to be and what I want it to look like. I used to do that all the time. Now child, I don't know. We Y'all know what I had thought about the other day. Is this still it? What I had thought about the other day is like every time... I feel discouraged. I had thought about this yesterday. I had thought about how I didn't even know Lakia ever watched me, ever watched like my channel. And then if you guys don't know who Lakia is, she's an artist. She's a rapper. And I think Ken um, had posted me. My friend Ken, you guys know, had posted me. And um, they follow each other because Ken is an artist too. He's a rapper. And they follow each other. And, she, and he posted me. And I guess she saw his post, his story. And she had said something about like how I taught her how to do makeup or she loved my tutorials or whatever on YouTube. And I never knew, I would have never known Lakia actually watched me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I always say, like, you never know who's watching you, you never know who's who's seen your content before. Just keep going. Like stuff like that is inspiring. Like I would have never known like she ever watched me or seen me before. And she followed me on, on on Instagram, and I'm just like, damn, that's crazy, you know? Like, I know we all human, we all people, like, you know, like, I know some people look at celebrities like, oh my god, like, not human, like, we're just as, we're just the same. And I just want to say, like, we're all human, you just never know, you know what I'm saying? So just keep going, because you never know who your videos may come across, who your content may come across, or whatever it is that you do, you know? It's like I want to do a matte, and I also want to do a shimmer. Where, 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 where do I matte? <laughs> We're doing matte, sorry. This lid is giving pink though. Well, I am using the just the what is it called? Peach out color pop. I was about to say I was about to say just peachy. What it's called? Peach out. So that makes sense because all of these shades in here are kind of like pinky, peachy in the pink family. Um, I was not trying to get this to turn into that because it's supposed to give fall, but it's also kind of giving like a a nude in a way. Like it's not too pink. So that's cool. Okay, yeah, as far as um, the liquid liner, I'm using the Ruby Kisses liquid liner. Yes, I did purchase this with the brow pencil at the beauty supply store. Ruby Kisses uh, eyeliner is good too, but I'm not using the uh, brush that it comes with. I'm going to use my NYX um, liner brush. Yeah, for you to fall off like the album I'm making, but I hope that you take it. So, as y'all can see, I am using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade C6. Must be a lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Family been doing you wrong. All days you feeling like you on your own. I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was. Okay, so now I'm going to mix my L'Oreal, a little bit of the L'Oreal, just under the, not L'Oreal, Neutrogena Cream Conceal. And then I'm just using a little bit of this. That's all I'm using for that. And then I'm going back in with the LA Pro Conceal in the shade Cool 10. And we're just going to go over that. Never mind that, I'm back, I'm sending you 
this little audio hug And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure, they know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me, don't hesitate, please Just hit me and I'll be around I'm Okay, so now just for a little bit of high definition, you would say under the eye, um, we're going to use the color pop. As y'all know, I'm not new to this. I'm true to it. Y'all know I've always did this since I've started my channel, started doing tutorials, makeup, whatever. I've always used a lighter concealer, so it's just so funny to me how this is a trend to have a brighter under eye because y'all know I always take out the lightest concealer. That is going to give me that bright under eye, okay? So, this is the ColourPop. I'm using the shade Medium. Um, the letter, the writing kind of came off a little bit. It's kind of fading away. But, this is the bottle. I got this from Target. Um, as y'all know, Target has Alta Beauty in Target. So, you can get a lot of different, um, variety more of different makeup brands. I'm going to use a little bit of my bridge of my nose for the contour. And that's about it. Quick little smoke break. <laughs> Tell y'all, just smoke a little bit. It relieves the tension. <laughs> relieves the tension in your muscles, in your mind. Okay. I'm using the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 25. Okay, y'all know this is my go-to. Don't be mad at me that I still use the same products. Baby, look, when it comes down to these loose powders, I gotta stick beside it, okay? Because I don't play around with powder. This is like the icing on the cake, you would say. You fuck up, it's over. Y'all know every time I get to setting, I use that brush, grab that brush real quick, and just blend that in, okay? Just blend it in. That's all I do. That liner is so sharp right there. there. I know y'all see that. That liner is, baby, it's sharp on this side too, but this side is doing something different. And then sometimes when I get like a little powder on the brows, I go back in with that um, eyebrow pencil and just kind of like, just go back in and fill in every, anything that you need to fill or fix. Nothing too crazy. Take your time with it. And bam. Oh, shit. After that, I use my ColourPop in the shade Pacific Beach. If you guys have anything that you guys can recommend for me as far as bronzers, new bronzers, let me know because um, I need some new ones. I've been like eating this up. I'm surprised I haven't hit the, the pan yet. I'm almost there, but yeah, y'all. This is, I really like this a lot because um, it gives my face a little bit more of color and dimension that it needs. Y'all know I kind of use bronzer as like a contour, um, so that's pretty much how I kind of use my bronzer just bring color back in my face and it doesn't look too harsh so I love this color it's like perfect perfect shade of bronzer so after that my go-to have been these Fenty Beauty bronzers I use these as a contour this is definitely more of a bronzer because of the the shade that it is it's very bronzery um, if that makes sense but for these, these are actually bronzers, but they give off to me more of a contours. It's just the shading of them give more more um, contour than bronzer for me. I hit the pan on this one. This is in the shade Caramel Cutie. Um, and I have another one, and this one is in Coco Naughty. This one is like not too much to use. You can still see the FB stamped inside of the powder because I don't use this one too much. It's a very deep... And it's color, 
So, um, I always just use this if I just want that light contour. Um, I usually just go with this one. This one does it for me. I feel like with women, like we don't have to do too much of a deep contour. Like we already have a natural contour. Well, me, my face, I already have a natural contour and I have very high cheekbones. So like I don't have to like really be excessive, like super strong with the contour. Because your face can look super strong. And um, to me, for me, I could start to look masculine. <laughs> like a mask, mask look. I don't like that, so I kind of just take it very, very slow. And, like, I take it, you know, very light when it comes down to my contour. And my nose contour is very simple. Kind of like to keep it simple because I already have, like, um, you know, I don't say, I wouldn't say strong features, but, like, deep, deep natural features that I don't have to do too much. I'm going to take... Y'all hear that fucking dog? That shit is getting, starting to get on my nerves. Taking that really dark, deep, um, don't need too much of this. That brown and going underneath the lid. So I'm using the, um, Milk Rise Mascara. I got this inside of my goodies box that they sent me. Um, I have another mascara that I want to try too they sent me, but... This one is kind of cool. Like, I really don't have lashes. Like, I don't have long lashes. So, I, I you know, I don't have, a, like, long-ass lashes. So, I'll be kind of, like, having to camouflage and make it look like I have bottom lashes. I love to do uh, people's makeup that has long bottom lashes. Because, like, when you, I do the mascara, it just looks so dollish. It looks so pretty. As far as blush, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution um, palette right here. It, get, it gets the job done. I like to dip and dab in these three here. I don't really mess around with these too much. It's, I don't want to say it's too bright for me, but it's definitely even more for the summer. But I'm going in with these here in this area. So I'm taking these two this time. I'm actually sitting here taking my time with this video and this dog is still barking like it stopped at first now it's back what's she doing like a Marilyn Monroe look no I just have these clips in my head because I curled it so I'm about to take them down hopes my curls I can't wait to drop them curls <laughs> y'all this uh lip liner right here i've been using this start i just started using this one right here and this is in the shade damn what shade is this why do i have the shade on the on the pencil that's new but um it's a bro it's a it's a brand called minted minted and i'm using this oh that's the shade I'm tweaking. Okay. This to shade is Minted Night Lip Pencil. It's a... The brand I know is called Melted. So I guess she just named all of her different lip liners or whatever starting off with Melted. So this is Melted Night. And I guess the other one is probably called Melted something else. Like I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm too high. So I went back into my OG faves when I first started wearing makeup and I wasn't even wearing foundation, okay? I was just doing brows, eyes, and lips. This is Wet n Wild Lip Gloss, not lip gloss, lipstick, and the shade Skinny Dipping. And this is like a nice little matte, matte nude. Then I go back over with the lip liner. 
And now y'all know I be having a lot of step steps for my lips. That's it. So only these two. So if you want this look, I got both of these from Target. Wet and Wild, you can get also get from Alta Beauty lip combos okay after i spray my face with the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist this looks so good like real good i love this look My spider white or a bath? <laughs> she liked when I talk to her like that. I took my spider white or a bath? Oh my goodness, my baby's so clean. Oh my goodness, my baby's so clean. Oh my goodness, your baby's so clean. I woke up this morning and kissed your bath. <laughs> I woke up this morning and took my baby a bath. Yes, I did. Yes, mommy did. She's such a baby, y'all. But she looked like, Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. What? Over and over. Spider. I gotta do her hair, y'all. Her hair is all over her head. But she's just the cutest baby alive. The cute baby. Oh, yeah, she wore. All right. I had to give her a little attention because she looked a little sad. Just a little sad. Do y'all see that crawler? I'm giving it to you girls. Ooh, I need to do this more often. Y'all will not believe how long I've had this hair. Like, I, this was one of my first blonde wigs I've got sent to me when I started YouTube. And this is one of the wigs I will never sell. I only say that is because it's like a one in a moment thing. Um, I have not got gotten any hair that came like this. To y'all, I probably have. But, like, the coloring on this unit, the way they curled it, like, I don't know. The quality of this hair, like, I don't know. And all of my hair is good quality, don't get me wrong. That's why I sell my wigs, because I be getting too many. I will never sell any bogus hair. But it's like, I don't know, it's just something about this hair that I, I've never got anything like it before. But this was the video. I do have other wigs on my channel for y'all if you guys, on my channel, on my website for y'all if you guys are interested in purchasing some hair. Thank y'all for the ones that have been ordering and using the doll 15 for 15 percent off your order i do have new orders that i am sending out tomorrow so make sure y'all looking out for y'all tracking number thank y'all for supporting me and everything that i do i love y'all so much i hope y'all enjoyed this video this was definitely like a vibe <laughs> this is a vibe i love y'all baby dolls so so much like i said don't forget to use that discount code if you are going to purchase and i'll see baby dolls in my next video Bye. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations.